Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you the kettle that I um doesn't didn't work that I um, caused me to buy a new kettle. Now the problem was it would actually switch on, but it wouldn't switch off at all. And so I thought I'd try and open it up today. Um, I was originally put off by trying to repair earlier by in fact it's got these strange looking screws. They are like a sort of star shape almost like a hexagon and somewhere I might have a nut for this but I don't know um, what's in that? anyway I think I've got a hex set somewhere but nonetheless I actually instead managed to managed to use this um screwdriver even though it's not really meant to be open with a screwdriver um, but nonetheless somehow by some total magic it will actually fit in even though it's not a plus type or a Phillips type plus one anyway so I managed to get the screws out and this is what's quite strange now I'm going to show you it before now first I have opened it up and I've sort of fixed it sort of but this is what's interesting when you put the lid on I can push it down but I can't push it back up again which is supposed to be able to do when you buy it it will shut itself off automatically and one of the problems I had before was that you switch it down it wouldn't go off but then I managed to fix it I think so it will go off but it's just you can't switch off yourself but if I push it up and I twist it and it works so you've got to push it up and twist it now this is what's quite interesting if I take the lid off bottom lid off totally this is what you get underneath and one of the problems I had why it was gone faulty before I bought a new one and this is because I moved it up and down so fast was that this part came out and it came out like that so it would go on but not go off so I had to move this back again into there and now just a minute just gonna do something a minute right now it's not a good idea especially if it's working um, it might be because I'm trying to tilt it That's it, right. So I'll push this down a minute. It never works when you're on film, does it? So you can see, look. Right, well it was doing it earlier. It did it perfectly originally when I had the lid off. It would go up and down perfectly. And then for some reason when I put the lid back on it wouldn't do it. Right, I'm gonna hold it upside down. But when I put the lid back on, let's give me a clue as to what's going on. 
I can't switch it off. I mean, if I take the lid off, without probably twisting it, but if I take it off, it will do it. So it seems because part of this is partly broken, part of this plastic thing is, for example, there's, um, here for example, there's a little piece there. And there was meant to be one on the other side, which I actually broke off, which I looked inside, it actually broken off. So there's one, you can see this side, there, this little bit going towards the middle. And there's meant to be one on the other side, there's meant to be one, but it's broken off. So it's about there. And it's meant to be there going that towards the centre but it's broken off. So that's the problem. But as I said, it's really weird how it would switch on and off when I when I essentially had the lid off, but when I put the lid back on, yeah, so now for example look. If I put the lid back on, the bottom lid, it's suddenly it just doesn't want to do it anymore. I don't know what's going on, but never mind. I did have a way of doing it, so now I probably regret I meddled in any way because I could at least get the thing. There you go. That's it. So it will switch on. It won't switch off, so I have to push it up and then twist. And somehow, if I push it up and then twist it, almost like turning a knob, it will work. You're not supposed to do that. It's just meant to go up and down. But that's the secret, apparently. Push it up and then twist. But as I said, if I took this off, the base off totally, I can do this. I can push it up, switch it on. Absolutely amazing. Now, I think I could probably have fixed it by um, removing, you know, cutting out the black plastic. I think cutting out the black plastic here and here would fix it. But I don't know if there's going to be any consequences to it. And if I really need to, well, it's in the past, I know I did recently get this, so it would actually switch off boiling, okay? I mean, it didn't when I originally had it a few weeks ago, when I went, when I bought a, a brand new kettle, and but um, when I showed you on the last video, I had this where I showed you it wouldn't switch off, or something like that, but um, But anyway, so this, should, I'm going to put it back again now, and it should work right now, but not obviously perfectly again. But when I last checked it, it would switch off after boiling. And that was because, as I said, um, before I opened it up, um, this bit needed to be in here. So there's a bit there where this had come out, and that, there's a piece there where it's meant to go in there. Um, so it's meant to go in there and it'll come out. So you see this bit here. That is meant to go into there and it'll come out. So that was why it wouldn't switch off at all, even automatically. Now it will or should do switch off automatically. It did when I last tried it, it now switches off automatically. So even if it's difficult for you to switch off manually, which for quite some time I had it where it wouldn't switch off manually. Um, it will switch off automatically once it's boiled. So it should now work again as a kettle. And without it being a health risk. In other words, it will switch off when it gets to boil. Now, I'm, I'm not going to try it now. If I do any problems with it, I will um, do a camera thing showing that. But otherwise, um, basically, 
there you go it should be back to how it was several months ago not when it was absolutely perfect and brand new but how it was usable a few months ago where it you know i just switched it on and accepted i couldn't switch it off and it would just switch off it when it boiled rather than more recently when it switched on and it would not switch off at all whatsoever even after it boiled it had to like pull the plug out or switch it off at the mains manually which isn't safe okay so there you go guys the inside that's one last time for you guys the inside of a kettle that's the main guts of it and this is the like electricity wires um this by the way if you wonder what that is it that's how it connects to the base so this is how it gets the electricity so it gets the electricity there's um essentially three connections one of them will be earth one of them will be live and it will be neutral um I'm not sure which is which, but I guess the middle one is live. The one outside is probably neutral. It probably doesn't matter because it's just a heating element, so it wouldn't matter which is live and which is neutral. It wouldn't really matter, I don't think. Or maybe I'm wrong. And because there's a neon light here, and that might affect it depending on which way around it is. And, um, and yeah, these, these are the wires to the heating element, and this goes into here. And here will be going to the heating element and yeah there you go that is how roughly a kettle works okay put the lid back on gonna put the lid back on and i will turn this up the right way yep pushed it down Yeah, so it will switch off again, but it's just rather awkward. So, okay, guys, uh, me trying to fix um, my kettle, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Okay, guys. This is an update, okay? Now. I put some water into the kettle, just take my word for it, because and I put the back on, the bottom on, right there, my fault, um, I forgot to switch on the mains, just a minute, now it's lit up, I'm just going to hold it for the entire duration of the boiling and I'm not going to touch it at all. I know this is boring to watch but I'm sorry. I don't touch anything at the moment. Also before I do, just to prove I could still switch it off the weird way. If I push it up, it won't do it. But if I twist it, it goes off. He said, push it down, it comes on. Push it up and twist. Have to twist it, it goes off, back on again. I'm going to leave it until it's actually boiled. Well, it's boring to watch boiling water, but there you go. Um, if Delia could show people water boiling in a pan, I can show you a boiling kettle, okay. It'll be very soon, so don't worry. I know this is boring. I can tell by the sound it will be very soon. Probably been about 20 seconds, probably.
and there you go it's switched off so there you go guys I've pretty much fixed the kettle okay so that's how you fix the kettle okay not perfect as I said because if I push it on also because it's recently been on and it's boiled if I switch it on it will go back off again when I let go but if I leave left it for a while or I let it cool down then it will do but as I said I've proven to you that I can switch it on and off by twisting it it's ridiculous you have to twist it but because the piece of plastic broke inside um, it, but there you go guys me sort of fixing the kettle not perfect but now usable okay if somebody came in like a care worker or anybody or anything like that or they wouldn't be able to use it because they wouldn't know how to because you can't say to somebody well push it up and twist you think you know because we I mean, did have people come in you know when it was free um, even though we didn't really need it um, you know they would use the kettle for about and then switch it off themselves once it reached a certain level but um, as I said I know how to do it now so I could do it on my own but as I said I do have as I said the other kettle um, which is guaranteed for three years so I will use the other kettle first because if it breaks down in three years I get a brand new kettle um, which is part of the agreement I have um, but this is a backup kettle um, so there you go I've managed to get it working so it will now switch off okay thanks for watching guys this is really the end this time bye